Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Doug and today I'm going to show you how to make a customized brush and then I'm going to teach you how to use that brush for your pictures. So we're going to make facial hair and then we're going to give Tim wants to come a beard. So let's get started. Now this is the image that I used. I will have this image in the description but before we even mess with the image we have to make the brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer or a new document and it's going to be 200 by 200 pixels. Make sure you put it on pixels. All right. Now we're going to take the pen or the brush tool and then we are going to use just a regular pen. And let's set the pixels to about either between 1 through 3, it's up to you. And then the opacity is 100, 100 and you're going to make sure that this little uh, thing over here is 100% black. So let's click that. You can either click that and it's black and white. So uh, let's see if this is okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to make facial hair. Um, just make a couple of squiggly lines like this and put them together for the best outcome. And if you guys want facial hair that's like curly or whatnot, then go ahead and make that. Alright, so now let's say that that is the patch of facial hair. I'm going to turn into that. I'm going to turn that into a brush. Uh, what you're going to do is go to select and click all or hit control A. What I'm going to do is hit control A and it selects the whole image. Now I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to uh, define brush preset and I'm going to name this one this is cool hair you don't have to do that name it whatever you want and as you can see the brush is now what I just created so I can click and it's the same thing or I can drag and it's like that alright now this is where we go over to the picture and then I change some settings on the brush to make facial hair using this facial hair patch that we just made okay so now we're gonna go to this over here to the uh, brush presets and we're gonna click on color dynamics and shape dynamics and the shape dynamics the control is going to set to uh, pin pressure um, angle jitter is going to be let's put that on 25 percent if I remember correctly yes and as you can see the, uh, the hair twists around like this it looks uh, more realistic and the color dynamics is going to be set to 5 percent 30 percent and 5 percent and then the zero and now um, when you make this, what you guys want to do is come up to here where there's three lines at the top, so the top right, and click on new brush preset. And this is cool hair. Let's put dude. And what that does is uh, it saves the brush with these settings. So anytime you want to go back to that, you click right here and go down, and bam, you click on the very last one, and that is the preset you made and so now I can show you guys what it kind of looks like uh, don't mind the colors right here because I still have to change the color settings so as you can see it mixes up and uh, if this looks super fake uh, we're gonna teach you or I'm gonna teach you a bunch of stuff to make the facial hair look realistic but before we do that we're gonna duplicate this layer it's always good to have a backup copy of the actual image itself and then we are going to make one more copy where this is the layer we apply um, the hair on the face alright and the first thing that you guys are want to, you guys are gonna want to do is um, you're gonna go over here and there's the black and white and then you can hit this and what it does is make white on top and you're gonna click the white box now what that does is you can change the color of what you want the brush to brush in but for us we want to go to his hair <clears throat> and what you want to do is you want to pick the darkest color first which is going to be the first layer of hair we're going to do a total of three so it's going to be dark hair uh, medium dark and then the lightest of the brown so what we're going to do right here is uh, this little um, pointer right here lets you go around and pick what color you want so let's just pick a dark color so this is what it was and this is what it is now all right, now by hitting uh, this key or this key, you can make the, um, the patches of hair smaller or bigger. And we can either click 
or we can click and drag. And if you do control or if you do mess up, hit control Z. So there, control Z. And if you hit two and you notice that control Z only goes back once, then you hit control, alt, and Z, and you can go back twice. All right. Now, if your presets are over here for your history, my history is set to 500. And if you want to change that, all you have to do is go to edit, you go to preferences, and go to performance. And then right here it says history. You can change this to whatever you want. So I usually, uh, the, one of my tutorials, I told everybody that I went to 500. Because you never know if you're ever going to go to 500 steps. And if you uh, don't have the steps all the way, then you might mess up and then you're screwed and you start all over. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, make it a little bigger size, not that big. It's so about right here. And we're just going to drag it in. And if it looks fake, don't worry, we will go back and make it look better. Let's give him one of these, make him look cool. Alright, I'm going to make the brush smaller for this area. Okay. So whenever you have your um, the beard looking the way you want it to look, you can always pause this video and just wait until you're ready. So that's the facial hair as you can see by hitting control minus you can zoom out. Tim Linscombe has a beard just like Brian Wilson now and uh, it doesn't look realistic. So what we're going to do now is um, before we do that you can actually go in and you can change the layer name. So you can put this one as darkest or whatever you want. And then you go down here and you are going to change this. So your second layer, you're going to pick a, a different type of brown to, to blend the beard in because no beard is one color unless someone dyes it. Or, yeah, just someone dyes it. I don't have any other examples. I, I don't have a face full of hair, so I don't know. But I just uh, figured that it's more than one color, just like your head hair. Uh, so now we're going to go over here and we're going to try to pick a different brown something that's a little bit medium okay here we go let's find let's find a good one that one's too light all right so as you whoa must have clicked in the wrong area on accident all right so that's fine right there so as you can see that's the brown we're going to pick and that's the brown it was you just say okay and you go back in and you can either click or you can drag. I like to do um, I like to click because then the spots are different. I don't want it to be you know, I just want to be I want it to be blotchy around. I don't want it to be uh, you know, filling up most of the picture like I did with the first one. And if your beard um, you know, you want to make it look realistic or using this tutorial to actually do something like a project instead of just learning. Like I said, take your time and you can just practice this. So as you can see, if I take the darkest one away, I just added that much. So, okay, so that looks good. And you can rename that just in case you need to go back and put a medium. Now we're going to make one more layer. And this is, we're just going to name that off the, the bat for uh, lightest. And now we are going to uh, do the exact same thing. We're going to pick a lighter brown. Hopefully I can find one faster than I did last time. Okay, that's a lighter brown. And we're going to go in. And we are going to make this look very nice. Click that. I am totally rushing this. Uh, so that the video isn't too long and it gets to the point. So like I said, take your time. Alright, so now we see this and we uh, still don't think it's realistic. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the eraser. So the eraser tool is picked and if, your isn't, if yours is not on it already, you click right here and you go down to the exact same eraser. So we use this to paint them in, and now we can use this to erase. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the opacity. 
I'm gonna change that to 50%. And even before we do that, we're gonna click on this lightest layer, which I forgot to tell you in the beginning, or just a minute ago. You're gonna click right here, and we're gonna go to the <clears throat> color dodge. All right, so that's the only layer that has that. So before you get erasing, make sure you do that. So we have the eraser out. You've picked uh, which one you want to use. Opacity is at 50. And now what we're going to do is um, we are going to go through and just click to erase on every single um, layer that we made. So if you guys want to see that it works in the beginning, let's just start with the darkest color because it has the biggest impact. And we're just going to click in areas. You don't want to hold them for too long because then it will pretty much take away all of the hair. So let's go through that. While I'm doing this, you guys, uh, if you guys like gameplay, you guys should go check out my Always On Board account, where I have gameplay, commentaries, all, all sorts of cool stuff over there. Okay, now let's go to the medium one, and do the exact same thing. And uh, don't forget that we are pretty close to the image, so if it looks unrealistic right here, it might look more realistic when you're not zoomed in on it. So don't freak out if it doesn't look real right now. Okay. Now we zoom out. And to me, that looks way more realistic than the uh, first thing that we did. So you can unclick them to check to see what you've done. And also what you can do if you really want to get into it is um, you can unclick all of these. And as you can see in the areas, you have a brighter area right here. Um, it's, brighter, it's darker around here, darker right here, and lighter right here. And you can change uh, the hair to match that exactly. And you can make the lightest areas where, so like if you click light, you can make the lighter areas where the lighter parts of the skin are. To make it look like the flash from the camera makes it just look a little bit more realistic. Uh, for the medium, you can add the medium into where it's like kind of bright, kind of dark. And then for where it's darker at on a skin, you can just go all out and make it darker. So you guys could take your time on that, make it look realistic, but for me, I think Tim Lincecum looks like a badass with this beard. Um, and that's pretty much all it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy both learning how to uh, make your brush and adding facial hair and also adding um, history, changing this to where you have more. So if you mess up, you can always go back further than 20 because 20 is the preset. Um, if I would love it if you guys subscribed. I want to make the channel blow up even bigger than what it is, it's only a 300 and um, leave a comment, I love feedback, leave me something that you would like me to learn and uh, I'll take some time, figure it out and I'll teach you guys what it is and how to do it and also um, yeah just pretty much that's pr pretty much it, leave a comment feedback, subscribe and stay around for the next video, I upload videos like about two to three times a week and uh, this is when I'm busy or Doug and thank you guys for watching